Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty good, pretty good. Um, Stephen Ward, uh, who had missed a few days, he's trained today, and James McLean has trained, so we're uh, we're fine. So there's no um, ill effects from from the team. I, th- I think I think they've come through it, so they didn't complain anyway at the end. But sometimes it's maybe about an hour or two after training that you find out. But they're 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 not too bad. Does it give you some good problems, Martin? In Sorry. Terms of selection having all 28 fit. Does it give you some good problems in terms of your selection? Yeah, but obviously Darren Gibson's had to go back home, but um, or back uh, back to Everton. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good to see them. They're out. They're ready to go. Was Darren you know in your, your plans? Is he a big loss, Mark? Sorry. Was Darren in your plans for the starting team? Is he a big loss? I think, I think that uh, uh, Darren has come through. He's played a couple of games for Everton. I think it's, I think his, um, it's his fitness really. It's, it's been the major concern for me. You know, sometimes he gets, um, he gets going, gets a run of games, and then um, thwart it again with injuries. So. Uh, He's had a few problems in the last couple of years and he's been fighting those off. But um, yeah, he, uh, naturally he would have been in the plans um, and, uh, uh, because he was, he's been involved in the last, uh, the last couple of squads that we've had. And, uh, but anyway, uh, we've, we've got plenty, plenty of players and plenty to choose from. Was Anthony Stokes missing? Anthony was missing today because uh, he had, um, I think he's had a bit of a hearing today in Dublin. Mm-hmm. You had a lot of time to prepare for this week. Has it gone exactly as planned so far? Well, you know, uh, Sunday's the Sunday is the ultimate test. Uh, it's been a good week for the for the players. Um, I, I think it's been a, naturally it's been a change from their um, from their club commitments. Some of them are happy enough to do uh, what we've done. Uh, I gave them some time yesterday. Uh, just ones who have family around about to go and uh, do that. We just basically just um, take their time. Um, regroup as it were and, and just get ready ready mentally and ready physically for the game Martin, Martin do you mind just taking a step closer to that microphone stand please is yep. alright just a step yep. closer mm-hmm. please. Martin just um, on Steve Mord is he fit enough do you think he's going to be fit enough to start off he is I don't know I'll, ha- I'll have a word with him now see how he feels I mean this was the first bit of work that he's done um, but uh, we'll, we'll see sometimes you know no matter um, fitness is very very important as you mentioned the other day but uh, sometimes players can get through an adrenaline. Um, you also mentioned as well too. You wouldn't want to be going in with four or five players not having done that much. But uh, but Stephen, Stephen, uh, he knows himself now. If he if he thinks he can make it, well, that's that's good news for us. And then that aside, obviously he's played very little with Burnley over the last number of weeks. So would that you know come into your consideration? Yeah, I'll take well? I'll take all of that into consideration closer to the time. Martin, Could I know you won't know. You won't tell us yet. Mm. But do you know your team yet? How many positions are you unsure about? I, I think there, I think there are positions up for grabs, um, like it's always been since I've come here. And I think any international manager would probably tell you exactly the same. He's got an idea that he can formulate a couple of weeks beforehand. But I think the first time that you really consider it is when you have players at your disposal for the week of the of the game. Of course, we've had one or two players who, um, for one reason or another, generally through injury, haven't really been available for the start of the week. So that. Um, then you have uh, you formulate different ideas, different plans for the players that you might think will participate in the game. But overall, they're, they're, yeah, they're, but there's always been uh, positions up for grabs here. You know? Because there are positions up for grabs, do you feel that's added an extra edge to the training? I'm hoping so. I think, it, uh, I, I think it's good news. I think players who feel as if they've got a chance of playing, I think, that they, I think that's the way they should approach the game. Anyway. When will you tell the, the players the team? Uh, it uh, will not uh, tell the players until Sunday. Uh.